Hi there, and welcome back to video 16 of the series of videos in which we will be practicing answering HR-related multiple choice questions. These series of videos will be particularly valuable to you if you are preparing for an HR exam like the SHRM or HRCI exam. This is video 16, let's begin with question 1. An employee is constantly subjected to offensive comments and jokes targeting their gender, creating a hostile work environment. What term best describes this behavior? A. Genetic-based discrimination B. Gig worker C. Glass ceiling D. Harassment The scenario describes a situation where an employee is being subjected to offensive comments and jokes based on their gender, creating a hostile work environment. This behavior constitutes harassment, which is defined as unwanted and offensive conduct that creates an intimidating, hostile, or offensive work environment. The correct answer is option D, harassment. An individual works on a project basis, taking up temporary assignments for different organizations without becoming a permanent employee of any particular company. What term best describes this work arrangement? A. Gig worker. B. Temporary employee. C. Intern. D. Apprentice. A gig worker is an individual who performs short-term or temporary work assignments for various organizations without being an employee of any specific company. In this scenario, the individual's work arrangement fits the description of a gig worker. The correct answer is option A. Gig worker. Question 3. A group of highly qualified female employees is consistently overlooked for promotions to managerial positions within the company despite meeting or exceeding all the necessary qualifications. What barrier does this scenario exemplify? A. Genetic-based discrimination B. Plastic ceiling C. Glass ceiling D. Halo, horn effect The glass ceiling refers to the invisible barriers and biases that prevent individuals, often from underrepresented groups, from advancing to higher-level positions within an organization. In this scenario, the highly qualified female employees facing consistent promotion denials despite meeting all qualifications illustrate the presence of a glass ceiling. The correct answer is option C, glass ceiling. Before we proceed, here is a quick message from me. If you are preparing for the SHRMCP or SCP exam, then consider using my learning resources which include a study guide, practice tests and flashcards. Visit my website and download a free practice test. You will find a link to my website in the description of this video. Now back to the video. Question 4. A supervisor forms a positive overall impression of an employee based on their exceptional performance in one project and subsequently rates the employee highly in all evaluations, regardless of their performance in other areas. What cognitive bias is at play here? A. Genetic-based favoritism B. Preferential employee C. Buddy system D. Halo, horn effect. The halo, horn effect is a cognitive bias where an overall positive or negative impression of a person influences the perception of their specific qualities or actions. In this scenario, the supervisor's positive overall impression of the employee based on one exceptional project performance demonstrates the halo effect. The correct answer is option D. Halo, horn effect. Question 5. An employee is denied promotion and career advancement opportunities based on their genetic information and predisposition to a certain medical condition, despite having the necessary qualifications. What form of discrimination is evident in this scenario? A. Genetic-based discrimination B. Medical discrimination C. Gene syndrome D. Halo, horn effect Genetic-based discrimination occurs when an individual is treated unfairly or denied opportunities based on their genetic information or predisposition to certain medical conditions. In this scenario, the employee being denied promotion due to genetic information represents genetic-based discrimination. The correct answer is option A. Genetic-based discrimination. Question 6. An employee has the option to allocate a portion of their pre-tax income into a designated account to cover eligible medical expenses. What term best describes this benefit? A. Healthcare Flexible Spending Account FSA. B. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act 
HIPAA. C. Contingent worker. D. Cost per hire. A health care flexible spending account, FSA, is an employee benefit that allows individuals to contribute a portion of their pre-tax income into a designated account to cover eligible medical expenses. In this scenario, the option to allocate pre-tax income for medical expenses aligns with the concept of an FSA. The correct answer is option A. Healthcare Flexible Spending Account, FSA. Question 7. A federal law that ensures the privacy and security of individuals' health information is in place, regulating its use and disclosure by healthcare providers and organizations. What law does this scenario refer to? A. Healthcare Flexible Spending Account, FSA. B. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA. C. Workers' Privacy Act, WPA. D. Employees' Privacy Act, EPA. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, is a federal law in the United States that safeguards individuals' health information and establishes standards for its privacy, security, and use by health care providers and organizations. The correct answer is option B. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA. Question 8. A worker is hired for a specific project or duration and does not have an ongoing or permanent employment relationship with the hiring company. What term best describes this worker? A. Term-based employee. B. Seconded employee. C. Contingent worker. D. Cost per hire employee. A contingent worker is an individual hired for a specific project, task, or period, typically on a temporary or contract basis. They do not have an ongoing or permanent employment relationship with the hiring company. The correct answer is option C, contingent worker. Question 9. A company calculates the total expenses incurred during the hiring process, including recruitment, advertising, interviewing, and onboarding. What term best describes this calculation? A. Cost per employee. B. Recruitment cost. C. Onboarding cost. D. Cost per hire. Cost per hire is a metric used to calculate the total expenses incurred by a company during the hiring process. It includes various costs associated with recruitment, advertising, interviewing, and onboarding new employees. The correct answer is option D, cost per hire. Question 10. An employer provides minimal benefits or exemptions to certain workplace policies or regulations, as they are considered too insignificant or negligible to require compliance. What rule does this practice align with? A. Compliance Benefit Rule B. Minimum Benefit Rule C. Contingent Worker Rule D. De Minimis Rule The De Minimis Rule is a concept that refers to situations where minimal or insignificant benefits or exemptions are provided by employers, which are considered too trivial or negligible to warrant strict compliance with workplace policies or regulations. The correct answer is option D, de minimis rule. Thank you for watching. Make sure to download the free practice test from the description below. If you are finding value in my videos, then smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I post HR and leadership related videos every week. I will see you in the next video.